Okay. Uh, so uh, I've got four of these uh, on a pad and I'm going to be painting the same uh, one each uh, kind of kind of same one each time. And uh, so I'm going to uh, clean water. I'm just going to uh, wet this down two thirds. There's my uh, two thirds and that's nice and uh, wet. It's kind of soppy wet. And uh, I'm gonna use uh, burnt sienna and I'm going to use uh, ultramarine. You don't have to use those uh, colors. Those are just the colors that I'm using. And while this is wet, uh, I'm just gonna go down from the top and I'm gonna paint and let it drift. And so there's my uh, burnt sienna. These are all gonna be different, so. I'm just going to let this drift. And I'm going to mix some uh, burnt sienna with the blue to make a neutral. And I'm going to paint the bottom. I'm going to leave a space between here. There's my uh, horizon line. So I've done all this with uh, just those two colors. And I'm going to let that dry. While it's drying, I'm gonna move to the next one. And I'm going to uh, paint the top two thirds with uh, clear water. Just wet and wet. And this time, I'm going to kind of do the opposite. I'm going to paint this with uh, blue. And remember, I need more pigment than water. And I'm going to put some uh, burnt sienna across the top. Let it drift. <laughs> Paint the uh, lower third. touching uh, the horizon line. I have to let that dry. The only thing that I did here between these two is uh, this is a little, uh, this is a little darker than that guy and a bluer, cooler than that guy. That's warmer. 
and a little bit different in the value. Uh, here is the uh, warm color with the cool at the top. Here is the cool color with the warm at the top. It's the only thing that's uh, different. I just flopped. I just reversed what I did. And uh, although this is the same painting, the same design, uh, you can do several things with this as you learned last week in those uh, sky things, uh, uh, sky paintings, uh, that uh, there are uh, so many techniques and you can do that with all of these. My goal here is to just show you uh, the timing of it, to, to reinforce the timing of it, what works, what doesn't, how did I get streaks, how did I not get streaks, uh, the wet on wet uh, and the wet on dry. Uh, in this case, I could have waited till this was damp instead of re-wetting it, uh, but I chose not to because this is more controllable. So I'm gonna take a brush full of water uh, and I'm just gonna make a couple of strokes. I'm not gonna try to uh, paint uh, go back and forth several times. I just wanted to re-wet this. And uh, if I start scrubbing it, going back and forth, I'm gonna start lifting that paint. And I don't want to do that. I'm gonna take some of this uh, color that I used on one of these uh, bottoms. And uh, I'm gonna kind of follow this uh, uh, design at the top. And I see I have a dark uh, mid-tone uh, somewhere through here. Uh, so I'm just going to, uh, I'm just going to paint that with a fairly great brush. And I'm going to uh, put a little uh, coming in from that side. And well, that was a lot of water on there. That's okay. It's going to make its, it's going to start making its own and I think that was a little bit wet, which I just learned. It's already got water on the paper, so I don't need, I need more pigment than water. It's gonna block that off a little bit. And I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna put a sweep across the top of this, of uh, that darker color I made up from using um, uh, burnt sienna and the ultramarine. And I'm done with this. I'm done with that part of it. I'm just gonna let this happen. Uh, I'm gonna let all this stuff just happen. I'm getting some beautiful granulation here and it's going to continue painting itself. Now I'm going to paint a little wet on a dry and I see I have kind of a warm, uh, kind of warm down here. Uh, and I'm just going to use the side of my brush because I want some texture. I want some uh, texture coming in here. And uh, that's kind of cool the way it is. Kind of looks uh, rocky uh, or uh, I don't know. It's an imaginary. <laughs> when in doubt, it's an imaginary. Uh, I am going to uh, go uh, right along here because uh, I want that to be a little more defined. I'm going to just blot that uh, because I want to put in those uh, hills behind it and start putting those in. And again, I need more pigment than water. More pigment. That's kind of still uh, wet there. It's getting drier as it goes across. And I'm going to put in a little uh, land mass. Uh, mountains. Just 
fade off. And while I have this uh, dark color, I think I'm going to put a little here just because I want to give this texture I want to make that soft and uh, instead of uh, what I was going to do is I was going to put another little landmass there but you know what I think I'll do is uh, I think I'll leave this alone because I like this and uh, I'm going to just see if I can't kind of match that a little bit and there's going to be my distant landmass on the other side. That's kind of interesting. I hadn't planned on this at all. I'm taking what it gives me. I'm going to take a little water and I'm going to melt this uh, white because it's too distracting over here. And uh, I think I'm going to Actually, I think I'm going to keep this white on that side. And I am going to be off to the next one. I love this little glow right here. It's kind of cool. I hadn't planned on the, uh, this happening at all. So I'm uh, taking what it uh, gives me. And I'm going to put a few. I'm going to break this line up much more interesting if I break that up. One done. Is this dry enough? Yeah, I think it's dry enough. So I'm going to re wet, the, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to re wet this with a uh, kind of clean water. Hey, Joe, can you push the pad over to the left a little, please? Sorry. I'm just re-wetting this uh, with uh, clear water. So now I can paint that pattern back in. And this time I'm going to learn from the last time. With the, today's uh, moisture in the air, et cetera, it's always going to be a little bit different. But I want more pigment than water because I just wet the paper. My cracky. So this is still pretty shiny. I think I want to touch that yet. And it's all drifting down toward the bottom so it's going to dry from the top down. Okay, it's getting a little, have a little sheen on the paper, so I'm just gonna go like that and then I'm gonna cross like that and uh, maybe a little bit down here. And let that drift. And we'll take this and do
just a little housekeeping and a little lifting. Make that a little more interesting. I don't think I'm going to touch any of that up there. We'll do that in another one. Leather paint itself. It's a little interesting texture. Make this guy a little lighter, not quite that light, but a little lighter so that will appear that it's a little more distant than the uh, one on the left. And I'm going to uh, kill some of this stuff that's happening here. And here. It's got kind of a nice mood to it. Uh, I think I'm going to clean damp brush and uh, lift a little uh, bit right here if I can. Oh, that's the paper's uh, just wonderful right there because it's kind of dry, but it's not. So I get that kind of a fuzzy edge to it. Only that little light spot right there. See what happens.
So here we kind of have the uh, same uh, back off a little bit. The same two colors, the same basic uh, design, uh, but they're different places to me. Uh, they're, they look like they're at different uh, locations or times of day or whatever. Uh, and we're still using <laughs> Using that same basic uh, design, uh, we could uh, change the time of uh, time of day a little bit, but I'd rather leave it the way it is uh, because uh, I want you to see what you can do with uh, the values and the shapes, and uh, just using uh, a very limited palette. I'm going to uh, retape. I'll retape this guy. There we go. Now you can uh, kind of get a look, see what we're up to. When I want to see uh, where I am, should I stop, should I continue, blah, 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 uh, I, I have to take the tape off because I have to eliminate the mess uh, for me to see it properly. So uh, I'm not, I'm used to uh, re-taping. <laughs> uh, that's no worries. So if I put a, a bush in here, now that I'm looking at it, uh, I'll make a dark color out of using my uh, ultramarine and my burnt sienna. I'm gonna make a dark neutral and I can kind of bias it one way or the other. I'll bias it a little warm. Uh, so this could be uh, actually a, a desert. So if, if I uh, chose to, uh, I could, uh, uh, do a little bit of this happening uh, or at least uh, if I put a cactus in there I could do that. Uh, I kind of like the way this is peeking through here now. Uh, I'm looking at it small on the monitor. It looks pretty good to me. Uh, I can tell a lot by uh, if I reduce it down, I can just see the shapes. I can't see the details. And this other guy, this could be kind of a, kind of sort of maybe a low tide kind of thing. Who knows? Who knows? I'm just taking the uh, ultramarine and I'm adding a little of, uh, adding a little white paint to it. And uh, maybe I want to uh, yeah, I think that's kind of interesting. Put a little bit of it uh, on that side. Uh, I could put a little bit of that in the sky. I don't think I will. I think I'll just smush this out. Uh, and I wanted uh, this to be a, like that better. Those and uh, I have kind of a cool little painting and this uh, cloud is actually reflecting off of that. I had to land on that. I'm just gonna so it's the blue a, a gouache? Did you yeah, mix the blue I, and the wash? I've matched okay. my white. So I think I'll uh, just do a, a little swap right here to connect those two shapes and uh, kind of leave it alone. 
and uh, there we go for a little uh, study that's kind of uh, interesting. So it hasn't taken us very long to do any of these. Uh, And uh, we learned so much by just doing them about watercolor, how to paint watercolor. So it's kind of uh, interesting. I'm going to take a little white paint and dry brush, uh, kind of that area right there. And maybe I'll even put a, uh, there. Done. Now with these, uh, I'm uh, not using any accent color at all yet, because uh, I don't think they need it. Uh, the ones I uh, painted here, uh, I painted this one exactly the same way, except I put a little bit of uh, red right through here, a little white wash of uh, cad red light. That's gamboge a little bit right there. I added some lilac over this, the ultramarine blue. And here was a little orange. So those were just little accent colors that I used uh, to give all of these a different uh, look. Here, I like these, uh, I like these the way they are. And it teaches you a lot about design too. I'm taking what this gave me. I'm taking what this gave me. I wasn't planning on that. I wasn't planning on that. Uh, so I have to make these decisions uh, as I'm painting. And uh, it's fun. It's, uh, that's kind of the uh, challenging uh, part about it. I'm going to uh, I'm going to uh, wet. I'm going to do this guy down here. I'm going to come back down a little lower. Uh, and uh, I'm going to do it the same way. In fact, what I think I'll do this time is I am going to uh, make my own wet and wet. I'm just going to start painting uh, wet. And uh, I'm going to paint some atmosphere, but again, I'm going to come down about uh, three quarters of the way or two thirds of the way. And uh, I'm going to uh, make uh, some pool at the top. And, uh, come on, I'm going to leave it float. And I'm going to make it a little warmer at the bottom. Just a little warmer. And uh, I'm going to wipe my brush off and uh, I'm going to just go right through here and uh, soften that. I want that to be, I want that to be the atmosphere. really dried out fast. Wow. I can take advantage of that. But again, uh, that looks foggier to me uh, than, uh, well, I do want that uh, a little, against my, against the, my advice, I'm going to go back into this right now. I really do not like to uh, go back into that uh, wet. It's very uh, dangerous. And I am going to add a little blue react. But that's going to drift down and that's going to make my uh, fog. 
atmosphere. That's a good call, whoever had that, whoever said that. <laughs> it gives us something different to work to. That'll be neat because I think I'm going to get some uh, blooms and atmosphere happening in there. We'll see. I'm already, it looks like I'm getting a lot of granulation. That's great. See if we can take advantage of that. I can see what's happening right in here, and uh, I, I can see what's happening right in there, and I uh, really kind of like it. Uh, I'm going to just take a chance here, and I am going to use watery paint. That's wetter than what I'm painting it on, so it should be, it should start blooming a little bit along this uh, edge. We'll see. I think that's too dry over there. I think I'm going to get a little something happening here. I'm going to try to take advantage of that. Cool. I'll take some water and go right through where my uh, horizon line is. Painting itself. I love watercolor. <laughs>
making a lot of progress. What? Okay. Have to see what I got.
Oh, it's a little bit more atmosphere, kind of, sort of. I'm actually wetting this, uh, I'm wetting a wet shape around it, uh, and I'm not wetting uh, the, the whole rectangle. So uh, now we'll see what happens when I um, put some paint in, and I think I'm gonna make this uh, a fairly uh, blue uh, sky. Already it's uh, kind of interesting, because I don't know where that water is. Have an interesting sky. I'll let this run this way and see what happens. Pretty cool. Maybe I'll keep this one as a little more pure color too. Just to see what happens. Oh good, a little leak down through there. That'll be kind of interesting. A completely different mood from the one next door to it. Take my fancy new uh, dagger brush. Hmm. Well, this is still uh, damp.
Uh, maybe if we have time, we'll have time, I think, uh, to uh, maybe watch a couple. Uh, that's actually still following the same horizon line, dark over on this side, etc. All into frame. Remember to keep it simple. Uh, you can start by just using a two color palette, a warm and a cool that makes a good dark neutral, and have fun. <laughs>